Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. Man, am I excited tonight. I got a new grill in, y'all. Uh, yes, I'm gonna keep smoking on my pellet smokers and everything else, my charcoal, but I got a A1, I'm talking about super high quality gas in. I'm talking about just like the Yoders and stuff like that are with the pellet grills and everything. This is the creme de la creme as far as gassers go. I have got a Napoleon. This is a Prestige Series 500 grill. It's got a rotisserie, it's got a back burner, it's got a side sear station. I mean, this thing is awesome. I've got this sucker loaded up with some uh, Blue Rhino propane here tonight. And man, this is the first night I've had it together out here. I just can't wait to get it cranked up. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and show you all some of the features here. This is an awesome, awesome grill, y'all. I just can't wait to get started doing some cooks on this thing, y'all. Charles, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at what we got. Right here, we got this side burner. We got our sear station here, and I'll show you all a little bit closer on that in a minute. But uh, we'll open this bad boy up. Oh, before that, we got a thermometer here built in. All this, this whole frame of this grill, everything. This is cast aluminum, stainless steel. I mean, this thing is built like a tank, but a beautiful tank. Uh, this goes all the way from 100 degrees to 700 degrees Fahrenheit to 40 degrees Celsius to 370 degrees. We've got one, two, three, four of our main burners. We've also got our sear burner and our back burner here. So let's open this up so you can get a good little look here. Let me zoom you in so you can take a peek inside of what I'm talking about here inside this grill. So I've got a rotisserie built in, electronic rotisserie over here. It's got a box on there. We've got a back sear burner for when you got stuff on electricity. We've got all these burners right down here. You need to come take a look at these grates. See the shape of these grates. These grates are specially designed to give you more surface contact. Stainless steel grates give you more surface contact with your meat, your fish, or your vegetables to get you that perfect sear that you're going after. So anyway, look, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just crank this thing up once we've got the our burners here. Um, just crank this up. I'm going from left to right here. I mean that sucker's already cranked. It was just so easy here. Just crank them up. Oh man, they, they self at night right there on that night. You've also got a night button, and I'll show you what that's for. Here, the burner's just going. You can, uh, you can hear that blue rhino just flickering away. I'm gonna turn that back burner on just to show you. So what you do is you turn it. Knob over here, put it on high. Hit your igniter. Boom. I mean, it's on just like that. The side burner I was telling you about. You've got a cast iron right here that's adjustable. You can actually pick this grate up, move it a little bit higher. It's kind of hot right now because I tested it a minute ago. And move it up a little bit higher so you can see a steak or leave it down low like this. You can cook on a pot or something like that. So I'll show you how you turn it on. Come over here, turn this one on high, push your igniter again, boom, it's on. That's it, y'all. This thing will heat up, it'll glow red hot here in just a few minutes. But you just, I mean, this grill is awesome. I really, really can't get over the super high quality of it. I mean, every aspect of it is, you know, stainless steel or either, you know, that cast aluminum. I mean, really, really nice here. I'm let it heat up, y'all. I mean, this is so, so nice. We should kind of show you down in here. I'll have to show you one day when I take it apart. I mean, all that stainless steel completely all down to the bottom. Nothing to rust out or anything like that. I'm just kind of letting it heat up here for the first time. Just kind of getting a good little, uh, Good little break in with it, and uh, you see over here you got your nice little stainless workstation here, and of course over here you got your side burner, and the things just heating on up. So anyway, I'm gonna let this thing heat up. I'm gonna actually take a little bit of oil, probably in, in rub on here. I'll be right back, y'all. So what I'm gonna do here, y'all, is just take a little Pam, something just sprayed on paper towel, and get in here and just want to uh, basically just give it a little bit of a little bit of lube and stuff like that on the uh, on the grills and that's all we got to do and we'll shut this back down in just a second another thing we'll show you tonight oh night like tonight we're not going to use this rotisserie it removes super easily just pick it up just like that pull it out I mean it was that easy no bolts or anything like that so you can set this aside you don't have to have this in here when you're grilling I tell you what I did while just out here doing a burn-in period I um, I took the uh, the rotisserie off you saw that and I put in it's got a second rack up here I don't know if you can see that zoom in just a little bit you know it's got a stainless steel second rack so that's really good and we can use that it's also got and I've got this I'll use it uh, later time but it's got a charcoal tray we can actually set charcoal in there light it with the propane 
and get that wonderful charcoal flavor. I can also use this in company with my smoking wedgie. It'd be great and get some smoke flavor on the food. But y'all, this is a great little deal, y'all. I'm really, really excited about it. All right, y'all. We're about to put our first bit of food here on the uh, Napoleon. I'm gonna cook in direct. I got these burners on over here, about a medium high heat. I went ahead and turned these off. I'm gonna put some good chicken breast down here. Uh, this is just gonna be our first cook here on the Napoleon. Really excited about this. I tell you what, y'all, I need to get some tongs. If y'all know some of my other tongs broke, the ones that I've always used, if y'all know some really good tongs, please let me know <laughs> because I need to replace them. Anyway, we're gonna put this stuff down here. This is scorching hot right now, so this will give them a good sear on that side. Uh, but I, I did turn these burners off over here. But we got the ones on this side still on. In fact, I'm gonna turn that one even down. So this is gonna be a really, really good cook here. Good first cook, just checking something simple. But y'all see what I got to work with here? <laughs> My only tongs. Anyway, so let's go ahead and flip these. I've just been on here just a couple minutes. Still learning my grill here. Just, uh, you know, better, uh, a little under, you know, right now, a little premature on the flip than uh, too much. I mean, let them go too long. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and flip these. Look at that. They got that, you know, since they, they hit right there when the, the grill's so hot and everything, it's a nice little bit of sear. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to flip these right here and uh, let them go. I'm, I'm just doing this indirect, waiting for the water to get home. And this is going to be really, really good, y'all. Hopefully, I'm going to bring you in here where you can see that little sear that they got here in just a second. You can see I got a nice little sear there. Now I'm going to close it down, let them go a few more minutes on the other side. Man, this grill's working great. Y'all, I'm starting to lose light out here, but we're going to get through this cook here. So we got the chicken here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my Javelin Pro thermometer and we're gonna check the temp. I know it's not quite done yet. Yeah, we're still about 113, 14. So I think I've got a better idea here. Like I said, just getting used to my pit. I'm gonna set them on the side where I got the heat. I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little bit, but I'm gonna set them over here on the second shelf. And, well, you know what? I think I may just, uh, they just turn this side on, just on low. Like I said, we're just getting used to everything here. Here we go, just turn this on low. And uh, go ahead and get the fire up underneath them just a little bit. Y'all, the chicken turned out great. I'll show you some pics of it inside, but I just love this Napoleon. Sorry I couldn't get the rest of the cook on camera. I just, the light did not uh, cooperate with me. I'm getting the light installed out here, uh, outdoor cooking light type thing. But uh, with the time change and everything, it's getting dark a lot earlier. But I just love this Napoleon. I'm telling you what, this this thing is fine. So you'll be seeing a lot more of it on my channel. And thank y'all very much. I'll show you all that chicken here in just a second. Anyway, y'all, here is the chicken. Looks great. Go ahead and cut into it. See how it contains nice and juicy. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's awesome. So, plus piece, just a simple grilled chicken, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That juicier what? And thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, I'll be doing some more cooks on the Napoleon. Can't wait. Uh, like I said, this is my first time just breaking in, have a little cook. Get to get it set up out there with the light and everything else. Um, thank y'all so much. I'll put a link to their website where you can get a Napoleon and all that kind of stuff in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out southerncoastalcooking.net and like my videos, sub my channel. Thank y'all so much and God bless.